Oh my God. Like, y'all, like literally, it, it's, it's freaking crazy. It, it's, it's just freaking crazy. Like, seeing myself on TV, is, it's mind blowing. It's literally mind blowing. Like, it's literally a freaking accomplishment. Like, I remember six years ago, I remember saying that I wanted to start my own YouTube channel. I remember. I remember saying, I was like, one day I'm gonna start my own YouTube channel. I don't know how, I don't know when, but I'm gonna do it. And guess what? I did it, okay? And the family, we're growing strong. Like we're already, we're almost at 2K. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers. The family is growing, okay? It don't matter how long it take. It's the fact that we're growing and we are never stopped growing, okay? And I just thank all y'all who literally support me. And I'm sorry for not even saying this moving into the new year. I really appreciate all y'all who really are supporting and really watch my videos every time I post them and watch them all the way through. Even if you don't watch them all the way through, but if you keep coming back, I really appreciate you, okay? Okay, I love you. God loves you and we are going up together, okay? It's only up. It's only up from here, sis. We're never backtracking, period. We're only going forward. We're only glowing and growing, okay? So make sure you check out this video I just posted, okay? And where are my manners? I forgot my intro. What's up, y'all? It's your girl named Ajane, for those who don't know me, and I post all faith, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos, and it is the pink gang, okay? If you are new, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that thumbnail notification so you can stay up to date for whenever I post any new videos. So let's get into it. I don't know what is on my robe, but no. Okay, y'all, so it is literally January 17th. I'm about to go ahead and get ready for my day. Kind of getting ready for my day a little bit later on in the day, but it's all good though. I have been doing a lot this morning. I literally woke up at, I wanna say I woke up at like seven. Yeah, I woke up around seven. So I woke up at seven and I had initially planned to go to Barnes and Noble to do some editing, but it was raining and on top of that, my baby was up around that time. He was a little fussy. So yeah, he was a little fussy and it was just not making sense to really just go at that time anymore. So I ended up just doing editing at my desk while he was asleep. I was able to knock out an hour footage down to what, 12 minutes. <laughs> I was gonna post it the following day, but I ended up posting it that day. Proud of myself. So I, so this week of the new year, I have gotten out two videos. Y'all, I'm proud of myself. Whether I'm getting applause or not, I'm applauding myself, okay? We should not be waiting for people to give us a round of applause for what we know what we need to be doing. Cause sometimes we expect family and friends to support us and give us a pat on our back when even that doesn't happen. Sometimes you gotta be your own cheerleader. Guess what? The Lord is always gonna cheer for you regardless. And sis, I'm gonna cheer for you, okay? Yeah, I'm proud of myself. So I'm trying to keep that up throughout this whole year. I know that I'm not gonna be perfect, but I'm gonna make sure I get it done regardless. No matter what I'm feeling or how I'm feeling, where I'm depressed, sad, angry, mad, I can't let my feelings, I cannot let my feelings dictate how my day's gonna go anymore. I gotta, I gotta thug it out, I gotta push through because baby, things got to get done. I ain't gonna reach my goals being lazy. Not over here, not this year, that's for sure. So today on my agenda, I'm going to a basketball game later on. So I'm super excited about that. So that's kind of why I'm actually getting ready. Today, I read my Bible this morning and I got a really good word and I want to share with y'all. Basically, God was telling me that, you know, you're going to enjoy being in my presence. This is him saying this, okay? He's like, you're going to enjoy being in my presence and I'm going to tell you why. You're going to enjoy being in my presence because you're going to gain peace. You're going to gain peace that surpasses all understanding, right? And we want peace, especially this year. If you're going to gain peace you're gonna gain wisdom and you're also gonna have that protection that you need over your life, over your spiritual being and your physical being. And on top of that, you're gonna get clarity. You're gonna get clarity for the things that I have called for you. 
That's what he was telling me. And I was like, I really need that. That I need that guidance. I need that wisdom. I need that understanding. I need that peace. I need all of that. And I'm not gonna get that by just doing everything on my own and thinking I run the show when I don't. God do. He runs my life and he's going to run this life. I was reading the other day that God has some things planned for me this year and I'm gonna really need his help preparing me for things that I need to prepare myself for. So, and if I'm not doing that, did I wash my face this morning? Hold on. I didn't even wash my face this morning. Let's do that first. But yeah, like God is preparing me and preparing us literally, not just me, but he's preparing a lot of us. He's telling us that he's preparing us for such a time that we need to get ready for. He has things lined up for us that we need to get ready for. Great things, blessings, prosperity. And who doesn't want that? You know, God wants us to be successful. He wants us to, see, to succeed. But what God cares most about is our spirit. Our spirit being right with him and gaining that relationship. We need to know him. He cares about that far more than he cares about our outward appearance, what we accomplish on earth. He cares about what we are accomplishing in heaven while we're on earth. Just know that God is preparing you for such a great year. So really lock down with God this year. Really get that connection, that relationship with him that you need to be able to do what he is calling you to do. And to be able to accomplish the goals that you also have for yourself. You're only going to be able to get so far without God. And that's facts. We don't have to do crazy things to get his attention. We don't have to earn to be in his presence or work our way to be in his presence or do things for him to be in his presence in order for him to move in our life. You just gotta come as you are. With all that that you got going on right now, whatever it is, he wants you to come just like that. Why would he want you to come perfect when he's trying to help you become better? If you were to come to him perfect, then you wouldn't need him. You know, he wants you to come as you are. <laughs> freaking done. My mom is hilarious. My mom always be sending me these little freaking meme pictures and stuff that she be getting from Facebook. It says, them cougars cut you off after one missed call. Dot, dot, damn, Miss Bell, I was asleep. <laughs> and what's funny too is because our last name is Bell. Well, my last name is Bell. As y'all know, but that was funny. If y'all are looking for something interesting to watch on Netflix, I'm gonna tell you this right now. Tulsa King, watch it. It is so good. It's with um, I don't I keep forgetting his real freaking name, but it's the guy who plays Rocky Balboa. I don't, I can't remember his freaking name, but if y'all haven't seen it, I'm telling you right now. That show is so freaking hilarious and it's really good. So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and do my makeup. I know y'all do not wanna see me talk and do my makeup at the same time because one, I take 30 years to do my makeup. And so I'm about to speed through this and I'm about to vibe to some music. I gotta be quiet when I play my music because my son is knocked out. He's been knocked out for a minute. And of course, as I get ready to play some music and do my makeup, he wants to wake up. For my daddy, personal purpose, he belongs. Look like he's swayed by the ass. Talk with the Lord before us.
up you guys good morning it's cold as heck it's literally raining so i'm actually getting ready to head to barnes and noble and i am going to kind of just get out the house and kind of just do my own little thing i just need to get some work done without being disturbed and bothered i'm gonna go to the bookstore and i'm just gonna get some editing done going to work on a couple of things they also got a starbucks inside I've really been craving this specific sandwich that they have there. So that's what I'm gonna go and get while I'm there. Ooh, and it's just gonna be a whole vibe. So I'm gonna kind of do like a little montage of me doing some editing, planning, coming up with some new ideas, just getting stuff done. Like I said, this is the year that I'm not playing any games with myself. I'm investing in myself and I'm just getting stuff done this year. Like I have so much goals that I wanna accomplish and I'm just not playing any games. Like girl, don't play any games with yourself. Like you are a high priority. If you are tired of living the way you've been living, then you know what you need to do, right? You need to get up, you need to plan, you need to come up with some type of strategy on how it's gonna get done and how long it's gonna take you and so on and so forth but don't sit down and just think that oh i'm just gonna manifest it and talk about it all the time but not put no work in like no you got to put in the work sis you got to put in the work i'm realizing that you can't just sit around and just expect things to just fall into your lap like the creator of the universe isn't just gonna hand you stuff without you putting in any work you feel me that's why i'm just taking advantage of this opportunity and time that i have to be able to be home and be a stay-at-home mom and to be able just to get so much stuff done with my business and my youtube channel i'm just gonna take that time to really go all in and really try to see how much i can really accomplish within these six months so get up and let's get some things done with your girl whatever you've been procrastinating and putting off it's a new year so let's get some things done with no excuses let's stay consistent it's only day eight of january mm -hmm. 